An Oregon school district is defying state orders by deciding to suspend the state requirement for mask wearing in schools. It is the Alsea School District in Benton County, southwest of Corvallis. State health and education leaders say the district will face fines, even lose some funding if it does not follow state masking rules. Our Lisa Balick live now, and what did you find out about all this, Lisa? Well, the small school district has already been fined earlier this month for ignoring mask rules. Now this time, it's facing an even bigger penalty. The Alsey School District has about 150 students total in grades K through 12. Earlier this month, the school board voted to not enforce mask wearing in the classrooms starting this week, although they kept in place wearing masks on buses to keep federal funding. But in-school mask wearing is a state rule in place since last fall to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, a way to help keep schools open. The district is now in trouble with the Oregon Department of Education and the State Health and Safety Administration. The director of the Department of Education sent a letter to the district saying it will withhold COVID relief money until the district puts the mask mandate back in place. I asked, how much money is that? I found out it's over $300,000. Meanwhile, ALSI Superintendent Mark Thielman, a Republican running for governor, has said he's the one who brought the resolution to lift the mask mandate to the school board. And he says students, though, could still opt to wear a mask. But again, the mandate is a state rule. The state even about to decide whether to make it permanent until case counts and hospitalizations go down. Health leaders say masking is a critical part of keeping the schools open. So the masking piece and part of keeping them open and shoring up everybody's confidence in the school environment, whether it's teachers or families, um, that has been a shared effort around the emphasis on uh, masking. Today, Orosha said it's investigating and could issue fines up to $135,000 for a willful violation of a safety rule. The agency Now, I reached out to the school board members as well as the superintendent for their comment. Have not heard back just yet. Lisa Balick, Coin Six News. Lisa.